What's up, baby? What is going on in the world of a Gemini for mid-July 2018? Are you guys healing? You aren't being resentful, are you? Are you guys a little scattered? Because I didn't purposely put you last, but I was trying to work out your energy for the main month of July, and it was really real. Okay, for those of you who are first time viewers, hey boo hey, I'm Mocha. Welcome to my channel. Okay, I make us a little bit, I make us a lot. So just depending on what the hell the cards say, and honestly, if that bothers you, you can go ahead and remove yourself now. Thank you everybody for all of my likes, my shares, my subscribes, my comments, because this lady loves the love. Okay, so with that said. Keep it coming, please, because I enjoy that. All right. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys are catching my Q and A. Okay. Um, I will be doing another one sometime this week, so y'all better have that little bell. Be subscribed to get that bell and get your Q and A's in. I do accept. Um, I do. I think I I'm able to get super chat. So that's my way of giving back. When you may not have the full time to get a reading, you maybe work a lot, but you got time to tune in. So if you need the questions answered. Hit me up. I love you guys, and that's my way of giving back to everybody as well. I appreciate everything that you do and all the support. Gemini's. Oh, first and foremost, this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers of the sign of Gemini. Okay? I'm having to get all of my announcements out. It'd be hard for me to remember all the damn announcements, okay? <laughs> but we keep it moving, alrighty? So, um, intuitively, Gemini, what I'm feeling for you guys is. A sense of keeping your feelings real close to your chest. You need to heal deeply, like beyond. A lot of y'all are walking into soul contractual um, type relationships. And there are people coming back from your past. Some of them are winners. Maybe like Spirit is saying one or two. But the rest of them are all karmically connected to a lesson that you have to conquer in order to move forward to moving, moving forward to your highest self. Also, a lot of you have ideas planting, just literally that have been planting in your head. If you're having issues at work, chances are you're having an idea that's possibly been beating you down since the month of February of this year. A lot of you guys are not trusting your intuition. Spirit has been beating a few of you down about starting a business, especially those of you who have come into money and maybe you don't want, you don't know what to do with it. However, those of you I'm feeling who are going to be coming into money before Spirit can bless you financially for those of you going through hardships, you have to release the resentment from your heart. A lot of y'all have people coming back from the past that um, are going to. I'm not going to lie, these are going to be the straw that broke, broke the camel's back, but a lot of y'all need closure in order to forgive, release, and move forward. And this is going to be a very communicative time for you guys to receive the closure only if you allow spirit to move through you and let it all in and embrace what you feel to learn from it to move forward in a positive way so that you can enlighten everyone else, okay? All right, that's what I got for mid-month July. All right, so I did pull um, two cards from my Dreams of Gaia tarot deck, okay? What I got for you guys was the Two of Earth, okay? So I feel like for mid-month July, okay, some of y'all are going to be, you see how how abundant this, this woman is? You see, and I feel like this goes for the people who I was speaking about with the ideas. Don't let your ideas that's been sitting in your crown that intuitively you know that you're supposed to be doing with her away, okay? Because I feel like some of y'all will be coming into some money. Make sure you invest your money correctly, okay? I feel like if you're going through hardships, you're going through these hardships to ground yourself, okay? You need to be grounded, all right? This woman has all of this abundance around her and also spirit is saying be grateful for what you already have in order for you to receive more, okay? Um, also, a lot of y'all are going to be moving forward passionately. You're going to be taking passionate moves, passionate leaps to move forward into the things that, you know, that you want to do. Okay, whether that's people, places, or things. You, you, you're going to be passionate. You're going to start moving towards life in a passionate way. You're moving away from your past. Say, hell, I'm going to leave all this fire and all this drama behind me. Okay, however, I'm going to take it. I'm going to use it. Even though that fire is behind me, 
it's also some within me, okay? I'm going to take what I need, and I'm going to hit the door. So some of y'all could also be leaving a fire sign um, or have a fire sign traveling towards you now that you've grounded yourself, all right? I also put you two messages from the Doreen Virtue uh, Crystal Angels Oracle card deck, okay? I have the first one I have is clear quartz. It says, let yourself feel all your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. This goes for what I was saying for those of you who are needing to use your intuition. Clear quartz, all right? A lot of you this month, clear quartz. This is a quartz. This is a clear quartz, okay? That's, this is real old. It's kind of dull and broken, but... <laughs> This is a clear quartz, all right? So some of y'all may want to keep a clear quartz on you for the mid-month of July for those of you who use crystals, okay? Clear quartz, clear, look, clear quartz will be very effective for you as far as trusting your intuition and moving in the way the spirit needs you to move, okay? But you have to not keep those feelings so close to your chest. Ground yourself. Hug a damn tree. Y'all know Mocha is keen for hugging the damn trees, okay? Go hug a damn tree. Get you... Get, Connect more with nature. A lot of y'all need to ground yourself. Start meditating barefoot with your feet in the grass and in the mud, okay? If you can get to the sand, do so, okay? Some of y'all need to get to water, okay? Water fronts. Um, take sea salt baths if you don't have access to water. If it's colder in the northern hemisphere where you are, all right? Uh, but this month, you're going to be needing quick quotes. Let yourself feel all of your emotions. Acknowledge them so you can learn from how does that make you feel. What what do you gather from them feelings about how you're moving and how you're dealing with other people and how you're allowing people to deal with you? You know what I'm saying? The next one I have is Azurite. All right. This says deep emotional healing. It says your heart is ready to heal from past experiences and you're willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care. So I feel like a lot of y'all are going to be moving away from your past, ending cycles with people getting the clarity that you need not to stay with you are, but to say, okay, I forgive you. I forgive myself for being naive and I'm going to move forward with this lesson into my blessings with everything that I've learned and gathered as a form of wisdom. So it's a way to turn your, L into, your L's into lessons. You did? All right. So let's go. Then what do you have? For my Gemini's between the 15th and the 31st of July. And some of you have messages coming in, a communication coming in from a fire sign. But some of you, you've been really waiting on this. You've been praying and hoping that this person uh, does come in and speak. But some of y'all, you're going into a new cycle with someone from your past. Maybe someone who made you feel a little rejected before. Um, it could also it could be a water sign or earth sign as well. Some of y'all could also have communication coming in from an Aquarius uh, that they want to start over and go into a new cycle, okay? Because I feel like both you and this person have live some form of karma. Some of y'all are internally fighting y'all selves to message someone, possibly a fire sign, or you could have a fire sign messaging you something that's going to piss you off, okay? But some of y'all are going to receive some form of communication regarding the fire sign. But some of y'all, and this goes for a few of you who I say, whatever it is that you have been wishing to create or wishing to uh, begin or bring to the forefront, bring to the surface, or bring birth to something. Some of y'all are going to find out that y'all pregnant this month. Congratulations, okay? Some of y'all could also be pregnant by an Aquarius or a um, Aries Taurus Libra. Some of y'all um, are going into a new cycle with these babies coming, okay? Uh, with I feel like if you've been dealing with someone, especially if they're an air sign, I feel like y'all are going into a new cycle. If y'all, if you are dealing with a fire sign and you have a family with this person, you could be the mother, or this could be your mother. I feel like somebody's going to be communicating with the mother figure. Some form, you could be the mother. A communication is coming, and I feel like some of y'all are internally fighting y'all to even respond to this person. This feels more like a fire energy or an earth energy. A little bit of air, but mostly fire and earth. Um, but I feel like a lot of y'all are, a lot of y'all are needing clarity about a situation, a family situation in order to heal a cycle, okay, or to complete a cycle and fully heal from it, okay, again, I told y'all a lot of people are going to be coming back from your past, okay, and most of y'all are going to be moving away from your past, especially if this is water energy, y'all going to be moving away from water energy, this could be a Scorpio, a Pisces, y'all going to be cutting them off, okay, I do see you have someone, possibly a fire sign, being very defensive towards you, um, or will be, be this could be you being defensive towards a fire sign, Aries Leo just to be definitely someone you have a family with maybe in the past you wanted something to come to fruition but now that you've healed you really like mm, nah I don't want that shit and that's totally fine especially if this cannot assist, this cannot assist you in ascension but for some of y'all you're needing to 
release the karma for you as well as that person. You and that other person are coming to an end. You have a fresh start coming, okay? But first, you have to go through a form of deception. And you have to go through a form of deception because, again, everybody can't eat at the winner's table, okay? Some of y'all could be starting new with the, uh, oh, shit, my bad, y'all, with the Capricorn Taurus Virgo, okay? This could be somebody in the past who possibly betrayed you and maybe... Going forward, you just kind of like, yeah, you offer me this new beginning, but your ass still alive you because I'm going to cut you off real quick because I've been there, done that, wrote the goddamn book and told the story. So I'm not going to be doing that with you, okay? All right, let's just see. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to move stuff so I can clarify everything on the board. All right, spirit, please clarify. Or, yeah, some of y'all definitely have a family situation, a fire sign coming in wanting to reunite that family, okay? This person wants to, some of y'all feel like this person is very deceptive, okay? And y'all might already start taking the knives out y'all back, so y'all like, no, I'm moving forward to what it is that I want, okay? For some of y'all, y'all could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, or could have... Could have had wishes to deal with a cancer Scorpio, Pisces Scorpio in the past. Maybe this person did something deceptive that would be coming to the forefront, okay? But it's going to allow you both to heal and start over, start something new, okay? Move in the direction in which you wanted to go with this person, all right? Let me see. Some of y'all, y'all got one sign coming from y'all past that y'all going to move away from. Okay, for some of y'all, y'all got from y'all... Some of y'all got a Capricorn towards Virgo that always comes back. It seems like every time you get to a healing point in your life, this person comes back. And this person is controlling. They come back, and you may have changed, but every time they come back trying to be controlling and trying to run shit. Some of y'all got somebody, a Capricorn towards Virgo, holding on to y'all strictly for money, or this could be your energy towards the other person, because I'm hearing that's two ways. Um, also, some of y'all, some of y'all could be dealing with cancer. I'm sorry. A Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And some of y'all could have been dealing with this person for seven years, seven months, seven weeks. And some of y'all have had so many turnarounds with this person as far as deception. But some of y'all, y'all don't want to be with this person or this person does not want to be with you. I feel like the relationship burdens the hell out of them. And I feel like they move forward or you move forward a bit fast. But for some reason, this person keeps coming in and giving you this damn offer with the intention that you need to offer. Okay, this is definitely an earth sign energy. They give you the offer, and they're going to be coming in doing the same shit mid-month, okay? I feel like some of y'all are blocking this person. This is the person you're being defensive with as well. I feel like they come in, they give you the offer, okay? But the offer is, is always not what, what they can give you. And I feel like they always come in with intention to do some sneaky shit. Or if it's not intentions, they just can't help themselves. This is somebody who don't have a stand power. They want to control shit, but they can't stay. But some of y'all, y'all being defensive towards the cancer and y'all can actually stop. Okay, this person will be charging uh, towards you uh, to kind of clear up, clear up. I feel like to even the skills or to bring some sorts of karmic justice to you in a good way. Okay? Or this person could be coming back after karmic and beat their ass up. All right? mid month July. Somebody left you cancer, okay? This could be a cancer and this person, you're kind of internally conflicted because I feel like but some of y'all, y'all really want to go to war with this person internally, even though you love them. I feel like there was not a level in the past of an equal give and take. Maybe you gave more than this person. You feel like you gave more than this person. This person is coming back, and now they want to give equally to the situation. Some of y'all are like, hell no. Nah. But some of y'all, y'all could be finding out y'all have a child by the King of Cups, okay? This is definitely a soulmate relationship. Some of y'all, y'all could also be reunited with someone who you have a child with that is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Taurus, a Libra, Aries, or any fire sign. Or y'all will be finding out y'all pregnant by a soulmate. Okay, some of y'all, literally, you're needing clarity. So because you're still needing that clarity, you are internally fighting yourself. Some of y'all are going to be walking away uh, from people, places, and things that cannot grow your life. I strongly feel that some of y'all are moving away, okay, from your past completely, and boom, here comes this damn Aquarius, okay? Some of y'all will definitely be dealing with an Aquarius by the end of the month. Y'all comment and let me know, right? Some of y'all moving away from love completely and just want to go follow your dreams, start that business that you've been sitting on them ideas for, and Spirit says, go ahead. It supports you, okay? The death card. Why is the death card here for my Gemini's death card? Yes. Yeah, some of y'all have been, some of y'all have a Scorpio that's been very defensive towards you. You've been patient with this person, but by the end of this month, you're going to cut this damn person off. You're going to move away from that. People, places, and things. Some of y'all are going to be, um, 
Some of y'all going to be moving away from a Pisces as well. Some of y'all going to be moving towards a Pisces as well. And some of y'all going to be starting over fresh with a, a brand new job. And I feel like this job is going to come after a period of hardship. Or maybe in the past, like you didn't have. Uh, some of y'all didn't have a job. Some of y'all going to cut off. Mm, some of y'all are going to be cutting off family relationships. For some of y'all, that person who you got a family with, that person is an Aries. Some of y'all going to cut off an Aries this month, okay? Uh, but, well, the, between the 15th and the 31st of July, or whomever you're dealing with may have an Aries that cut them off or will be cutting off Aries, all right? Some of y'all still needing clarity, okay, regarding somebody who possibly cut you off in the past. Maybe you wouldn't, you didn't know, this person didn't really give you any clarity. This person is going to bring clarity, and for some of y'all, it's going to hurt your feelings, and that clarity that you need is going to make you want to move forward from this person yeah because i see some of y'all been patiently waiting for the clarity but once you get it a lot of y'all is going to put this damn person off all right so there will be a form of community a form of communication for some of y'all this form of communication is going to bring a towel moment okay i feel like we do some of y'all didn't with water signs that is coming back it's a lot of it's a lot of water and swords in this reading and a little bit of fire okay but some of y'all definitely dealing with a sneaky water sign or a sneaky air sign and shit's going to hit the fan. Or for some of y'all, it's a sneaky-ass earth sign. So there's not a level of an equal give and take. And this person is still fucking judgment, okay? This person is not making a decision. Gemini, maybe this is you not making a decision. I don't know if I want to move forward towards the fire or earth. Or I don't know if I want to cut out air or water. Whatever it is, choose yourself. Put you first, all right? Spirit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What can Gemini, why? What can Gemini expect? For the remainder of the month. But some of y'all, y'all have new, some of y'all definitely going to be starting a new job, okay? Or receiving some lump sum of money in order to move forward. That's for the people who've been stuck, okay? Definitely, they failed to clarify the ace of penalties. So for some of y'all, that, that rabbit being here, this is a very fertile time, Gemini. Some of y'all are going to be possibly receiving some type of child support. This damn justice question. Some of y'all gonna be receiving love so much child support that you didn't expect at all. Okay, some of y'all have an Aries coming towards you to communicate with this page of wands. Okay, some of y'all definitely have an Aries gonna finally make a leap of faith and communicate with you. Okay, but some of y'all, y'all gonna have a tower moment, all right? It's gonna allow y'all to move forward. Definitely if you're dealing with the energy of fire, okay? Um, for some of y'all who need to make a decision about two fire signs, okay? One of them is going to be one that gives to you equally. One of them is going to be one that burdens you. You're going to put them damn burdens down. Whatever fire sign up, whatever energy, you don't have to necessarily be fire. Whatever energy is burdening the shit out of you this month, it's about it, for the remainder of the month, Gemini, you're going to put it down. You're going to walk away. And for some of y'all, that itself, that in itself is going to actually give you, oh, give you a little peace. Some of y'all, some of y'all have a younger fire sign coming in. Okay, they come in passionately. Maybe their intentions is not to stay, but to do their thing. Okay, but then whatever they give it to, whatever they give to you, take it. This is definitely someone who left you feeling rejected in the past or made you feel like you weren't good enough. Okay, I feel like y'all going into a new cycle of your life. You end in cycles. Okay, so with some of y'all, this fire sign is coming in with good intentions. Okay, you just have to trust the creator and trust. The spirit is behind you and trust the God that is moving through you, okay? For some of y'all, y'all are going to get y'all ten of cups if you already have a family with someone established. Or for the people who are having new children as catalysts to actually give you victory in the situation. The only thing that the divine is needing you to do is take a leap of faith, babes. So take the leap of faith and just trust, okay? I love y'all very, very, very much. Remember, Gemini, you are the magician. You're the magician. You have every resource that you need through experience. To be your greatest great. Don't let nobody stand in the midst of your motherfucking greatest great. For what? Who, what, when, where, how, gonna do what to whom? What? Or nah. We don't move like that. We only reach it for greatness. Greater is coming, my baby. You just have to trust. And let go of things. People who bring you three third party ass energies and shit. Let that shit go. Let all of that shit go. I dare you because it is beautiful on the other side. If you need that personal, hit me up. That information can be found in the description. This is just general. It may or may not resonate with everyone, but that does not mean I love you any less. Check your moon, your rising, your Venus, um, all of that. Just don't come for me. And I love y'all. Till August, babes. Mwah.